After 75 years in our location on Constitution Street, we had the once in a lifetime opportunity to move to the top of One O'Connor, uh, the tallest building in Victoria. We're very excited to do it. It um, also interesting fact is it's this this lot is the original location of our first building in 1846. We've moved, the Victoria Advocates moved about a dozen times over the years, but we've been in, in the Constitution Street uh, location for 75 years, so it's a big deal that we made this move. When I was first aware of my dad owning part of the Victoria Advocate was when he was in the small building around the corner from where the present Advocate is today. It was in the same block but that's where we began. And then when Dad became full owner of the paper in the middle 40s, he bought the rest of the property, a lot of the property on the rest of that block to build the building that we see today. And it was just a one-story building at that time. And I know I was in high school at that point. And in, in the summer, I would have a, a summer job down there and very often in the big back room where they laid out the paper, my job was to do some proofreading. After almost 35 years of working for the Advocate, the building at 311 East Constitution holds a lot of memories because so many people have come through there. But what I remember most is the two hurricanes that I literally worked through at the, at the building. The first one was Hurricane Claudette. I came to work that day not even really knowing there was a hurricane out there. So we worked all day through that and then of course the following Days we did a lot of work together and then of course Hurricane Harvey in which we actually lived at the, the building for what, several days as we put out the paper online and kept people informed with what's going on in the in the community in the hurricane. 43 years at the Victoria Advocate started when I was 18 and loved it. I do believe we have ghosts there at the old building because I would stay late at night and you could hear somebody typing away. In this day and time, there are lots of changes, certainly in the last 10 years and in our particular business. And since we no longer have to print the paper in our environment and the technologies makes it possible to do things in a much smaller space, it's nice to have a new environment to create the new feeling for the future. We're excited about this space because we had uh, the very unusual opportunity to really design what a 21st century newspaper should look like. Um, our old place sort of grew over time just as places do and the space kind of unfolded as spaces unfold. But here we really stopped and thought about, you know, how do we work? What's the best way to communicate and collaborate? And tried to create a very open floor plan that really takes advantage of all the beautiful natural light that we get here. So it, we, we hope people will come by and, and see and enjoy these, the best views in Victoria, we think. The fact that our, it has been a family-owned newspaper for these 70 plus years is important to me for, for a community to have a family-owned paper that the family is immersed in the community, the community knows who they are, and we have interaction with so many people on a daily basis. So we personally care about our community and try to use the newspaper to help make it a better, better place to be. <laughs> I hope we're around for a long time <laughs> to continue to bring democracy and freedom of the press to our community.